United Kingdom environmental law concerns the protection of the environment in the United Kingdom. Environmental law is increasingly a European and an international issue, due to the cross-border issues of air and water pollution, and man-made climate change. History In the common law, the primary protection was found in the tort of nuisance, but this only allowed for private actions for damages or injunctions if there was harm to land. Thus smells emanating from pig styes, strict liability against dumping rubbish, or damage from exploding dams. Private enforcement, however, was limited and found to be woefully inadequate to deal with major environmental threats, particularly threats to common resources. 1306, Edward I briefly banned coal fires in London. John Evelyn, Fumifugium, 1661, argued for burning fragrant wood instead of mineral coal, which he believed would reduce coughing. Ballad of Gresham College 1661, describes how the smoke does our lungs and spirits choke, our hanging spoil, and rust our iron. In 1800, one million tons of coal were burned in London, and 15 million across the UK. Smoke Nuisance Abatement Metropolis Act 1853 John Snow in 1854 discovered that the water pump on Broad Street, Soho was responsible for 616 cholera deaths because it was contaminated by an old cesspit leaking fecal bacteria. Germ theory of disease began to replace miasma theory that had lingered since the Black Death, during the Great Stink. Of 1858, the dumping of sewerage into the River Thames began to smell so ghastly in the summer heat that Parliament had to be evacuated. The Metropolitan Commission of Sewers Act 1848 had allowed the Metropolitan Commission for Sewers to close cesspits around the city in an attempt to clean up, but this simply led people to pollute the river. In 19 days, Parliament passed a further act to build the London sewerage system. Alkali Act 1863 and Alkali Act 1874, amended 1906. W.S. Jevons, The Coal Question, An Inquiry Concerning the Progress of the Nation, and the Probable Exhaustion of Our Coal Mines, 1865. Ground Game Act, 1880, Night Poaching Act, 1828, Game Act, 1831, Game Preservation James Johnston, Socialist Politician, President of the Smoke Abatement League, International Conference in 1911, London also suffered from terrible air pollution, and this culminated in the Great Smog of 1952, which in turn triggered its own legislative response, the Clean Air Act 1956. The basic regulatory structure was to set limits on emissions for households and business particularly burning coal while an inspectorate would enforce compliance. It required zones for smokeless fuel to be burned and relocated power stations. Clean Air Act 1968 required tall chimneys to disperse pollution. Topic: Environmental Protection. Environment Agency. Environment Act 1995. Topic: Pollution Control of Pollution Act 1974 Environmental Protection Act 1990 Wildlife 
Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981 Weeds Act 1959 Badgers Act 1991 Protection of Badgers Act 1992 Hunting Act 2004 Topic. Conservation Planning, Listed Buildings and Conservation Areas Act 1990 National Parks and Access to the Countryside Act 1949 National Parks of England and Wales and National Parks of Scotland Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Areas Act 1979 Countryside and Rights of Way Act 2000 Topic. Climate change Climate Change Act 2008 Planning and Energy Act 2008 Energy Act 2008 Energy Act 2010 Energy Act 2011 Topic. European and International Law European Commissioner for the Environment European Climate Change Programme Water Framework Directive Birds Directive Habitats Directive United Nations Environment Programme Topic. See also English Land Law UK Enterprise Law Environmental Law Environmental Racism in Europe Conservation in the United Kingdom List of environmental laws by country <laughs>